what's up guys so i know i told you guys i was going to record with the suit on um this last uh video but i couldn't because the centerpiece in the middle uh broke off so i asked them to send me a new one and so that's still on its way and i still need to get that fixed but um let me show you guys what the situation is right now So uh, this is the bottom, and I know I, I showed you guys this um, before. So this is the bottoms. So beautiful. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about. This center piece just broke off. Um, so it's no longer attached to this. They're sending me a new center piece here. So it still hasn't arrived and then I also need to get this um, I guess tightened and like sew down to essentially how like where it fits really good so that is hopefully once it arrives once this piece arrives I will definitely go get that fixed and hopefully it'll be like the same day kind of thing And I will definitely start posing with it because I feel like I need to just practice with it on and um, just practice moving in it because it's completely different um, to like shorts and sports bras. So right now I'm going to head to uh, the Tayo Center which is uh, basically down the street but it's where the competition will be held this year or actually last year was held there and I think that... Um, all the competitions they've done pre previously have been held there. So it's literally like a three minute walk from where I live right now. And um, so I'm gonna go there because today the stage is actually open. There's like no one using it. So I wanna make sure I practice like my walk, the timing, everything just goes together. So I'm gonna go do that right now and uh, then come back and eat. <laughs> We are here at the Taiyu Center, which is where the show is going to be. This is the stage behind me. Um, so this is it. This, is where, this is where I will be July 30th. Um, I have Sophie here. Sophie! She's going to be my judge. I'm assuming this is where the table is going to be. So um, this is it, guys. This is, this is it. So I'm going to put the camera probably right here in the middle and kind of like face it towards me to kind of get an angle of what the judges will be seeing. So this is going to be the first time I'm actually practicing without mirrors. So this is going to be hard. All right, let me fix this camera because it's hella crooked. So I think I'm done practicing um, today, or actually this whole week, I haven't really felt like my leanest or tightest or anything, and I think it has to do with girl week, to be honest. Um, it's just one of those things that we have to deal with, being women and everything, so I've definitely felt uh, really bloated and just heavy, I don't know. So um, today was a, one of the days that the stage was available so I wanted to make sure that I came in just to get like the timing of the music right because um, I picked a song that I, I want to come out to so uh, I just want to make sure that, the, that I'm on cue with the like posing that I want to hit on certain, at a certain time of the song. Um, I don't know, I f like I said, I just felt like heavy and not like lean, which is kind of making me nervous. It's kind of like, um, 
almost like a setback or it feels that way at least because I've been plateauing a lot so I'll like I lose a pound and then I'll plateau for like a week and that at this point is not acceptable I have to really really do something about this like I've been doing cardio maybe like four days a week um, I'll switch it up from like low intensity to high intensity so it's just one of those things that I really I boy I just really have to like figure out what works best for my body and it is such a short amount of time that I have left so I'm a little worried but I'm really gonna do my best um, this show is not like a huge show uh, it's not qualifying for like anything it's just something that the base offers and I think it'd be a good opportunity for me just to like kind of wet my feet and just see what this um, community is about so I'm not I'm taking it very serious but at the same time um, it's not like a huge show to embarrass myself <laughs> so it's just one of those things um, but I'm gonna definitely keep coming back once the suit is ready I definitely want to get into the suit and start practicing with it um, it's going to be completely different. There's going to be a lot more skin showing and I want to make sure that my body looks good in the suit so it's not just, you know, just flubber flapping around everywhere. So um, I know that I do need to lose a, like some butt. I need to lose that fat butt, that butt fat. I need to lose that butt fat and um, just like the hip area and everything. And that's um, one of the places that I gain weight the most. Like that's where I hold all my weight. And unfortunately that's gonna be like the last thing to go. So we'll see. But anyways, um, later on tonight, I will take you guys with me to my workout with Sunny and uh, that should be fun. So I'll see you guys tonight. Hey guys, so I'm here with a commentary. I wanted to talk about some of the exercises Sunny and I did. Um, as you know, or if you've watched my previous videos, I talk about my friend Sunny, um, and she's been training for 24 years, so she's got a lot of knowledge and a lot of crazy, weird exercises, but they work. So this is one of them. It's somewhat of a plyo for legs, and also um, we're doing some punching, uh, but it works your shoulders and everything, just full body workout. So for the most part, we stuck to uh, three sets of around uh, 10 reps for each movement. And uh, then in between sets, we would do abs, such as this one. So we do a count of 10 um, for abs, or technically 20 if you count each side but um, we would just switch it up in between our sets and make sure that we're hitting our abs, which is what we usually do anyways. For this next exercise, again, we're doing plyo legs and we have switched the cable to medium level, so now we're punching at a um, kind of a 90 degree angle. Um, it feels a little funny at first, but with practice, it, I don't know, it feels normal. <laughs> um, so definitely pick the right weight. You don't want it too heavy or too light for this. You want to make sure that you actually feel the, the pull and the push. And again, we switch to abs. Uh, this is very uh, challenging <laughs> for me. Just any lower abdominal is always going to be tough. But nonetheless, this is a great workout to hit the lower part, um, as well as your upper body since you're having to hold yourself up. So this next exercise definitely felt a little funny at the beginning. Um, it felt really good. We're mostly working our back and legs here, um, but it felt really smooth doing it, so <laughs> it, it just looks funny. Um, and then after that, we did the punching again, but with the cables um, higher, so you're punching downward. 
so this is all very good. Uh, this one I felt a lot in my chest as well as my shoulders, so just make sure you concentrate on the movement and try just to focus on contracting those muscles. Uh, this is the same exercise, but I wanted to get a side view so you actually see uh, from the side the punching motion. So you want to make sure that you keep your back straight and you are just focusing on your shoulders and arms moving. Uh, we now move on to more abs, like I said, in between each set that we do, uh, we like to incorporate abs, and this is just uh, same thing, but you're focusing on your obliques. Oh, these dreadful abs. Um, these, it's like a love-hate relationship. Here, Sunny's kind of explaining to me exactly how she wants it. It's a little uncomfortable and almost uh, really stretches your hamstrings. <laughs> and I'm not very flexible, so def I definitely feel the pull. But um, this one targets every part of your abs, let me tell you. Um, and you want to make sure that you do it nice and slow and just squeeze um, and tighten everything. So try this. If you do try this, comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. We then moved on to working with the kettlebell and some planks for 30 seconds. Um, we continue to do this for 30 seconds, three rounds of these. So just pretty much kind of like a plyo style, get your heart rate up um, and still incorporating a lot of muscle groups. So this is very high intensity, but like I said, it's 30 seconds. So then we would switch to another exercise, which is this one, which is just the kettlebell swings for another 30 seconds. And uh, I always love working that I love working with the kettlebell, especially the kettlebell swings, because it incorporates your legs, your upper body, back, arms, everything, and it also gets your heart rate up. So I really love doing this as warm up. Um, in this case, this is not a warm up. This is our actual <laughs> exercise, but it's a great warm up if you ever want to try that. Um, then these. <laughs> jumps that look ridiculous but let me tell you it was so hard <laughs> I don't know if you could see my face but I'm definitely hurting my thighs are just on fire anything with jumping it's always going to burn out my legs and um, I don't know I'm just really tired doing this so 30 seconds seemed like forever so after we finish the three rounds of the plyo 30 second workouts, uh, we moved on to the bicep curls. So we did individual, um, each side we did, uh, we counted to 10, and then we doubled and did both, both at the same time, which was very challenging. Um, 15, I did it with 15 pounds, definitely was really hard. Um, I felt the pump though, very, very exhausting. So we did another 10 of those. We then switched on to the hammer curls. Um, this one, <laughs> it's equally as challenging. Um, we were focusing on just contracting our bicep um, as we moved up in a slow controlled motion, as well as squeezing out your tricep um, when you are down so every time we would have the kettlebell the kettlebell wow <laughs> dumbbell down we would uh, focus on squeezing that um, we did the same thing we did individual and then we did both at the same time um, I definitely struggled with these very tiring I did 10 but very tired on the last set um, I had to drop to 10 pounds because my biceps were, they felt so swollen, <laughs> so very hard, try that. Next exercise was the shoulder, focusing on our shoulders, um, and basically we just did 15 of these, 
and just slow and controlled, um, medium weight and more reps, of course. We then moved to shoulder press. Um, I, we did three sets and each set I would go up in weight. Um, so just focusing on contracting and uh, keeping my back straight. Last but not least, always remember calves. Um, we use it on this leg press, which is one of my favorite calf exercises. Um, although it's technically for your quads and everything, I really like using this machine in particular for calves because I really feel it. Um, and here I would just do straight and then inward and outward for 10 reps, 3 sets. This concludes today's video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, I had so much fun making this video. As you can see, Sophie and I were practicing our posing. So you will be seeing Sophie in the near future. I hope that would be awesome if she gets into this. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Tienes que enseñar tu músculo, tu músculo.